previously on Sunset 10. Can you lift up, please? I have to do some inspections. All these taking guys' shirt off. It's getting out of control. Nobody's behind the counter. Come here, sexy man. As much fun as I want you girls to have, you have to realize this is my business. I came out here from Bixby, Oklahoma. I'm really missing you guys. We miss you too, sweetheart. I love you, Dad. Sometimes I do want to just pack it up and go home. That's my boss, Naked. What a team. What a team we have at Sunset Tan. I love it. What am I supposed to do, call you every five minutes? You can sell anything to anyone. These two are for the tanning, which is what um, Lindsay Lohan does. Ooh. How'd it go? How it always goes, baby. 1,200. You know how I do it? Shut up. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Okay, so our boyfriends can't tell us apart, so we decided to get their names stenciled on us. I can't say I've ever done stenciling before, but I can definitely do you guys a custom tan. What's your boyfriend's name? Thor and Hunter. Hmm, let me see what magic I can do. Follow me. <laughs> Thank Insane. you. Only in Los Angeles. Okay, so you're Thor, right? Oh, no, I'm no. Thor. <laughs> okay, yeah, we definitely don't want to mix that one up. Here we go. Awesome. There is no mistake in these girls now. Okay, you guys, let's see the tan two you got going on. Our goal was to open a salon every year. We're opening our sixth one now at the Palms Hotel in Vegas. Vegas is the absolute golden ring. It's the end all. It's You can't be promoted to a better location. I mean, all our managers want it. Whoever gets promoted up there is going to be set. Everyone's gunning for the position for Vegas, but no one deserves the job as much as I do. Unfortunately, with all the managers trying so hard and competing for this position in Vegas, they just decided to dump all their work on me. Vegas is a town made out of money, and Sunset Tan is gonna make a lot of money there. That's why I work as hard as I do, so I can get there and get that money. It's better to get like a bigger Mystic package than just to get a cocktail package, because you save more money as far as like the unit price goes. Nick is probably our highest seller. Thank you. Welcome. The kid is a rock star. What's up, guys? How are you doing, brother? Good, Good to, to see you. you. That's right. Yeah, how you doing? Once the foils are in, I know that he's focused. We got a little business to take care of, so. <laughs> First, let's talk about the uh, the Vegas trip. Dude, Vegas is like going to be the goldmine salon, so one of the managers that really wants it's never even been to Vegas. Oh, yeah? It's Nick tells us that he's been telling us he wants to manage our Vegas salon. He's, he's never, 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 been, to never been to Vegas. Obviously, we got to give everyone a chance. I think we should at least take Nick under our wing, take him to Vegas, possibly. This weekend? Yeah, why not? What are the other managers, what are they gonna think? They're gonna we don't be hating, dude. They're gonna be hating, but you know, Nick, I think, would do a great job. Let's give him a little taste of it, dude. We'll see how he hangs. Hello. How you doing, brother? I'm good, what's up? Uh, listen, dude, because we love you so much. Uh, how would you like to take a trip to Vegas, man? Take a trip to Vegas? Vegas, baby. You want to go? That would be really cool. Deb and I had a long discussion. We're like, we kick ass in Hollywood. <gasps> Let's see if you can at least handle Vegas for a couple nights. A little bit of fun and a little bit of business. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure probably more fun than business, but whatever. I'm down. That sounds great. See ya. So what? You want the store? Tell you I want the store. It's money. Mm. Nah, 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 nah. I'm going to Vegas. Don't be so mean. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You are not going to be happy. What? Jeff just called Nick on the phone, and um, he's going to Vegas to meet with George Maloof. What? Why? I don't know. I, I have no idea. He's like, do you want to go? He's like, we want you to come to Vegas with us, and we're leaving tomorrow. Or whatever. They asked you if you want to go? No, Nick. Just Nick. Oh, my god. What are you guys doing? Hi, honey. Nick is going to Vegas to meet with George Maloof and Jeff and Devin this weekend. Cool? Who's George Maloof? You don't know who George Maloof no. is? No. Really? He's He's the one that owns the Palms and the Kings. Oh. Big, big, big wig. Just bull I've been with this company over th three years. 
You know, I have family in Vegas. I want this job more than anything. If they're all going to Vegas, I'm going to Miami. Hello? Hey, what's up, buddy? Right. So what time do you want to come oh in? My oh, my God. OK. Wow, this is great. All right, buddy. Cool. We spied on him and found out that someone really big, a huge celebrity, is coming in. You sounded really excited on the phone. Yeah, it's a, it was an exciting call. Yeah? A, Why was a, it an exciting call? We have a big client coming in. Big, a big, 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 big celebrity client coming in. What time do we have to come? No. I can't leave you guys two minutes in the salon alone, let alone I would ever let you check in and deal with a celebrity here. The good looks doesn't cut it here. Wow. Three weeks ago, I moved from Oklahoma. I chose to move to Hollywood because it's completely different. It's a whole new world. It's huge. Nobody knows me. It's an adventure. It's exciting. I found a place, and it's just a little studio apartment, but it's a big world. I'm very committed to my job. I love my job, and I'm very grateful for it. So as long as I'm here, I'm going to put my whole heart on it. Aaron? Aaron? Coming. What's up? OK. I am going out of town, as you know, and I need you to take a couple extra things. OK. Can you handle it? I can handle it. Basically, I want you to go through the entire salon, starting with the front desk, make sure everything is just spotless. If there's any bed problems, turn off the breakers, check the bag, make sure the water mist is drawn, make sure all the walls are perfectly clean. Every single thing you, you see here, just plan on ordering for a month. Go to the control panel, hold the start and stop button down together until PR appears, stop button until you see P1. Um, so with all this going on, how am I supposed to be upfront selling? You know? You know what I mean? Takes two seconds. Like two seconds? Yeah. I have no problem with doing my own work. That's fine. But Janelle's work on top of it, that just bugs me. Any client problems, concerns, any complaints, handle. I don't want to be called about any client concerns. Are you going to check your email in Miami? Well, no. Try and figure it out on your own. OK. We got the news that there was going to be a really sexy celebrity in the salon today. <laughs> are you totally concentrating? No, are you? It's hard, right? Did we go in? Do you think we'll get in trouble? We're not working. Who cares if we get in trouble? Should I wear boots? Boots or high heels? Cute. Yeah. That's ready? OK, let's go. Lock her. So how's work today? Work is work. How's your work? Um, I did find out um, they're they're taking me to Vegas. Who? For Jeff and Devin for the uh, to look at the new store and everything. And since I've never been, so it'll be really cool. Well, it's not a big I've deal. I've been to Vegas about like thirty times. Okay, I know so what Vegas is like it's called City to for a reason. It's not that kind of trip though. I mean, like we're going because okay, number... but you're gonna go out at night, so I'm guessing. I'm not saying they didn't give us an itinerary. Who goes to Vegas and doesn't go out at night? It's I don't like know. Trip. I don't even know how long we're going. What you don't trust me? <sighs> it's not like we've been together for long enough for me to be able to really trust you nice. like that. I mean... Nice. All I know is that we're opening a store in Vegas. And that's a huge, huge promotion for me if I can get it. Coming up? I don't understand how I should deal with Janelle. I'm under the impression that you felt like you were taken advantage of. I mean, come on. I feel like she should communicate with me a lot better. Welcome to Vegas. Hey, Aaron. Hey, girls. Hi. We came to give you time off because we're bored and we wanted to work. Thank you very much. So I've never been to Vegas before, and I've never been on a private jet, so I'm really, really excited to see what Vegas is all about. We're going to Vegas to show you the salon. It's amazing. Vegas is mine. Next stop, Vegas, huh? Woohoo! Yeah! Hey. So sorry. I'm sorry, once again. This is the third day that I've been covering for Janelle. Can I put you on hold for a second? This store's been super busy. You know what? I totally forgot I got to start this person's bed real quick. It's been a crazy day, long day. I'm so sorry I forgot somebody was on hold. Phones have been ringing off the hook. Could you please hold one second? I don't know how much longer I can do this on my own. Sunset Tan, this is Erin. Hi, honey. How are you? Hey. I'm 
still in Miami. I have a big favor to ask you. I know you worked open to close on Saturday, but um, I'm actually trying to stay an extra day here. And um, I am wondering if you can possibly work my shift tomorrow. Okay. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? Awesome, thank you, honey. I'll see you when I get back, bye. Vegas, Vegas sick. Congratulations. You're here, baby. You're here. Welcome. You're here. If this is what Vegas is all about, I definitely want a piece of this. Coming to the bar. Sick, uh, complete with plasma. Oh, it's got plasma to the wall. And we're in a gigantic suite that's bigger than most people's houses, most bigger than three people's houses. What do you say? Just a giant pool. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Oh. Welcome to your new city, buddy. It's your yeah. city, Nick. Can you handle that? I can handle well, Welcome I can to handle Vegas, it. man. <laughs> Crazy. What do you guys, are you guys wanting to tan? No, we, we just heard you've been working a lot. We came to give you time off because we're bored and we wanted to work. Are you sure? Yeah, don't even talk about it. Oh my god, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Thank bye. you. Hi. Thanks, guys. Okay, bye. Bye. Where is he? We have an opportunity to open a salon in the Palms Hotel, so it's gonna be awesome. Where's my office? <laughs> Down the other wing, buddy. I'm on my way to meet George Maloof. He's a billionaire business mogul, which is everything that I'm aspiring to be right now. Ooh. Sweet. How you doing? Good, buddy. How you doing? Nice to see you. Good to see George, you, man. Nice to see you. Yeah. It's our manager, George Nick, from Hi. our Hollywood How are location. You? Nick, nice to meet you. Doing? So, dude, we're excited, man. Can't Let's wait for this. You know? Very pumped up about it. You have a great spot. Any chance of walking the space? Yeah. Getting an idea of what it looks like yeah. and put some hard hats on? Let's do it. It's pretty sick, you know? So wow. basically this is where the spa is. Wow. The Vegas salon is going to be absolutely insane. It's going to be probably about 3,000 feet. We're going to have a 15, 20 rooms. We're going to see three to 500 people a day. The Sunset Tan is right here. Uh, We're going to have a bunch of airbrush units mm -hmm. on, on hand, too, so we to can go, go to the rooms. rooms. OK. Yeah, that's yeah. great. So after looking at the structure and seeing where Sunset Tan's gonna be, definitely shows me how big of an opportunity this place is. I mean, living the high life and hanging with George, can't get any better than this. Um, I have an upcoming shoot in like three days, <laughs> and I want to do something that's not gonna make me burn. You're not tanning? Me? No. Oh. But thanks. I'll be like 10 minutes, all right? Okay. Just take your time. Bye. Okay. Take as long as you want. Hey. Hi. Hi. Ooh, Chris Kattan. Yes. Chris Kattan. Chris um, Kattan. You should tan. <laughs> Mr. Tan Kattan. That's really good. Are you sure you don't want to tan? We'll show you well, how I don't. Burn. I don't like tanning because it, it's. It, I get burnt. I did it, and then I get no, itchy. No, no, you won't get, get burnt. Itchy. We have this bronzing lotion. And we're gonna put it all over your body for you. We could spray tan you too. That means you have to get naked. I just don't know if this is a good idea, legitimately. We'll, we'll get. It, we'll get. We'll have suit. music on. And we'll like. Whoo. We'll wear bathing suits, and then we'll tan Whew. you. Yeah. Are you guys on ecstasy? No. So, uh, Can you see how tan you are, or how white you, you are? Take off your oh, God. Help me. I just want to see how white you are. Your girlfriend doesn't mind. What are you doing? I want to see how tan you are, or how white you are. Come here. I, I want to see too. Can I peek down your shirt? Yes. Who are you, my hairy chest? I'm still a little hairy. I got some hair. Remember, oh, you don't like that? He's a no, man. Sexy. Oh, you guys are the guys that wax everything. No, let, me sexy, you, let me see your skin. They're called porn stars. Sunset Tan has a team of promotional girls, which is an attractive group of girls that go out and basically promote the business. Right now in Las Vegas, we're currently looking for that group. Wow. Okay. That was insane, Nick. Everyone's Nick, my manager of Hollywood. First night in Vegas. You 
can demonstrate. I'm good, though. Wow. Um, it's kind of like Ringling Brothers meets Strip Club. Wow. Meets the sickest hotel room I've ever seen. Meets crazy women. Hey, drink, 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 drink. No. Yes. no. Yes. I'm not going to be peer pressured. I do have a girlfriend. I don't want to piss her off. So, Janelle, yes. um, sorry, I don't mean to do this in front of everybody, but you went out of town again, and you promised you would be back and working on Monday. Aaron had to go through some stuff, and you calling her on Monday and saying, can you cover my shift, doesn't work. Aaron, I'm under the impression that you felt like you were taken advantage of. I mean, come on. Well, first you said, can you get my shift, or can you help me cover my shift Monday night? Yeah, right. And if you weren't interested in doing that, you should have just said no. Um, I thought you were happy and willing to do it, you know? Mm. Okay. Just please, and you promised me last time, <clears throat> you know, you were going to come back and be ready to work, and you weren't. I don't understand exactly how I should deal with Janelle. Sometimes she's pretty manipulative. It seems like she kind of turns things around where it's back on me, you know, and I'm the one apologizing. That's so far what I've seen, you know. I just don't know how to deal with it. Jeff and Devin were having me spray girls because they're going to be doing a lot of airbrushing in the rooms here in Vegas. Be careful there, buddy. I was testing the uh, the spray gun because the attachment hose was leaking, uh. and all of a sudden she jumped on my back like I had a football. Oh. Oh. And uh, you know the next thing I know, oh. Dracula just bit my neck. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm very concerned about my girlfriend finding out what just happened. Why are you hiding out of here? Yeah, I've got a headache. I'm trying to keep it professional because I do want the Vegas store, but my girlfriend's definitely not going to think too highly of this. Hi, this is Anya. Hey, it's me. Um, just calling to let you know. You were just right. There's, there's just a lot of crazy going on. Like, I'm not really too happy with the way things are going. All right, well, I'll call you a little bit later. Oh. Coming up? If I was the manager, no problem. That's my job. I get paid for it. But I'm not getting paid for that. I don't need some girl crawling on my back. I don't need but some girl what, sucking Nick? on my neck. Need, I need someone out here maybe that doesn't have a girlfriend. Nice to meet you. Nice shaking you. my boob. I'm not shaking your boob. You were shaking my boob. <laughs> That's shaking my boob. My girlfriend's tan has turned into 20 minutes. You just make me hot and bothered. Why do you talk like that? Am I making you nervous? No, it's just weird the way you talk. Well, I, I make you weird. Like, everything I say, you say, well, that's weird, because maybe um, I should make you weird. <laughs> Why are you guys laughing? Can I get your autograph? Yes. Can you put two Holly and Oh, Molly? my god. That's your name, Holly and Molly? I'm Molly. I'm Holly. You're Molly? No, I'm Molly. I'm Molly. <laughs> okay, two Holly and Molly. Hi. Chris Catan. You're not gonna say love you girls or nothing? Okay. See love you, you girls. Aw. Right? Thank you. Can um, you shake my hand, please? Hi. Wow. Nice to meet you. You're shaking my boob. I'm not shaking your boob. You were shaking my boob. <laughs> That's shaking your boob. <laughs> yep. Is that doesn't real? <laughs> yeah. They are? No. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Hi, what's going on out he, here? He's, he's trying to convince us that he wants to, us to airbrush him naked. Oh, really? We were not. We were talking about how beautiful no. this water is. No, to her that no. you want us to airbrush you naked. Just show your girlfriend how you did it. No, I come didn't on. do anything. Thanks, girl. You brought me here. Let's go. I'm coming. All right. We love you. <laughs> I think Erin holds and bottles a lot of her anger inside, which is a huge problem. I feel like she should try to communicate with me a lot better. I think she lacks in that department. I want to know why you chose to go talk to Roxanne before coming to me first. Um, I added one small task onto your job, which was to take care of the store while I'm out of town. Mm -hmm. I know it sucks working 14 hours. I've done it many times. <laughs> Worked open to close 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Well, OK, here's the deal is if I was the manager, 
no problem. That's my job. I get paid for it, but I'm not getting paid for that. So at the time, I was like, what? You want me to work another open and close? I'm a little bitter. I'm not, you know, I'll get over it. But And she, you can tell she's just kind of looking at me like, why'd you open your mouth? Nikki, what's up, dude? When it comes to business, I'm all about business. I don't need some girl crawling on my back. I don't need but some girl what, sucking Nick? on my neck. The biggest part of this this <laughs> salon out here is being able to go to people's rooms and airbrushing them, dude. So That's fine. that means there's five, six hundred rooms here with crazy girls that are gonna do that all night long. And if your personal life's affected, is it gonna affect our business? That's the bottom line, you know? I need I need someone out here maybe that doesn't have a girlfriend that's single, that can party, that can get to work on this on time and kick ass for us. And that's my concern with you, dude. See, that's the key question. And now you gotta ask yourself, is Vegas right for you? Right. Coming up next. I just really need to go home and get a clean perspective. Hi. Oh, we really missed you. How much do I want Aaron to come home? Oh, on a scale of 1 to 10, that would be like a 12. I am meeting with Raider, my ex-boyfriend. I lost the best place I've ever had. Obviously, you. The store is a wreck. Kind of looks like a crack house. You guys, we got to do this tomorrow. I'm not happy. I mean, I'm losing a ton of money. Well, just make sure it gets done, is all. I need them to know that they can depend on me in Vegas. Can't deal with this right now. Oh, we have to keep. We have to keep. Oh, my God. I am not Ew, I'm